In this video, we'll go over the SketchUp interface. When you click on the desktop icon, you'll see these choices of units. You can always change the units later, but you need to pick one when you start. You can also open an existing SketchUp file, and you can click Learn for Tutorials. I'm going to click Simple Inches, and here is the interface that you should get when you first open SketchUp. This is a scale figure. You can use it to judge how large your model is. These are the axes, and it's best to model parallel to them. This is the pencil tool, and I know that I'm parallel to an axis when I see that pop up, and when the line I'm drawing is the same color as the axis. I just hit escape to get out of that line. This is the getting started tool set. I like to be on the select tool when I'm not actively drawing. I need more tool sets than this, so if I right click up here, I can quickly access them. Another way to access them is to go to View Toolbars, and it brings up this box. I like to work with the large tool set on. It's undocked. If I double click it, it will dock. You see, I can drag it off and customize the interface a little bit. I like to work with the standard tool set and the views tool set on. Double click to dock it and I can move it. While this box is open, I can also move the icons around I can make a new toolbar where I can drag these icons into it, and I can rename and delete toolbars that I make. Over here, I have a bunch of trays, and if I open the trays, I can see options for other functions and tools. If I come here to Window, Default Tray, I can see which trays are open. Usually the instructor is open too. If you click on a tool, you'll get a tutorial for that tool. I find the instructor distracting, so I close it. Know that you will probably accidentally close a tray you didn't mean to close. So you can just come here and you can click it open again or remove it if you don't want it. Here are all the submenus and go over these. Extensions, you won't have that when you start. An extension is a tool that you download from the extension warehouse. I just hit the space bar. That's the hot key to bring back the selection tool. So let's start modeling. I click on a tool. This is the rectangle. And I can just click it where I want. Notice the pop-up that says square. That's part of SketchUp's inference engine. It's inferring that maybe I wanted to draw a square, and it's telling me that if I click right here, I'll have one. Now notice in the lower right corner, I can see the dimensions, 8 foot 4 and a half inches. As long as I don't click 
or move the mouse or do anything else, I can overwrite that. For instance, I can say four feet, comma, four feet, enter, and it will adjust to that. I can say six foot, four inches, comma, six foot, four inches, and it will adjust to that. The default is inches, so if you want feet, you have to type the foot symbol. Now I'm going to click on push-pull. Notice the dots that appeared. Push-pull is a self-selecting tool. It selected this face, and now I can pull it up. And if I type a specific height, it will adjust to that. I can select things this way. If I click once, I select a face. If I click twice, I select the face and its edges. If I click three times, I select everything that is attached. And if I right click, I'll bring up a context menu with other functions. I'm holding the scroll wheel down on my mouse to be able to orbit like this and I'm scrolling the mouse to zoom in and out. SketchUp is sticky, meaning if I draw something adjacent, more geometry adjacent to existing geometry, I can't separate it. What I can do is select it, right click, and make it a group. And that way, I can draw more things on here. Oh, I can't push pull on a group. So you know what? I'm going to undo, and I'll just put a rec another rectangle up here. And now I'll push pull the rectangle. And if I select it, it doesn't select the box behind it. And I can move it. If I want to edit a group, I need to double click to open the editing box. And that way, all edits will be part of that group. And then click on the screen to exit the editing box. So that line is part of the group. It's a common beginner mistake to draw outside the group and not be aware of this until you go to move it and you leave your edits behind. Luckily, there's a fix for that called paste in place. If I go to edit, well, first I'll select this, then I'll go to cut, open this up, edit, paste in place, and that puts it inside the group. And I think that should get you started with understanding SketchUp's interface.